I don't know why I come up here, I mean, it's horrible, isn't it? Look at this, look. Beautiful day, sun shining, and it's nearly end of September. Sat in a t-shirt. It's horrible up here, really. It's terrible. I'd much rather be at home watching television. Don't know where I come for, really, at all. In fact, I might go home and watch Corrie. Or East Enders or something like that. Or Emmerdale Farm or something like that. Rather than just sat here. I'm only joking. <laughs> this is awesome. Just done a review on uh, Frontier Still. I've took the plunge and bought the water heater as well, like so. Cracking bit of kit, guys. Trust me, it's a cracker. Cracking bit of kit. Oh, Bob's down here, look. Frank is still eating car, he's in his cage a bit while I get all sorted out. I've got it set up, but I just thought I'd come and do this review for uh, Camping Solutions. Uh, got that done. I reckon I'm a total chill. Piper backer. Chilling. Hey, you want know these chairs, Joe? This is for Stoker Joe Bushcraft. These chairs, Joe, you want to get one of these. To sell them at Go Outdoors, Joe. They're alright. Go and get one. <laughs> Good old Joe, bless him. I've fetched another side today. I haven't put it up yet. But, uh, this gazebo. I'm going to put another side on it. I've got another two sides at home, but she has one to cover the school truck with partly, anyhow. So I'm going to go and fetch that up later on. I've got one already. I'll fetch it up next time we come. Got a bucket full of bits of wood that I've chopped up. Chop a bit more up in a bit, put some more on. I didn't know what to do with this water heater, you know, I didn't know where to get one or not, but end of the day, for winter time, it's perfect. You know what I mean, under my tarp and that, I shall just keep getting a drink or, you know, or a cup of coffee or whatever. Uh, brilliant. Expensive, but there you go. Once you've got it, guys, it's going to last you a lifetime in stainless steel. It's not going to rust. It's not going to go nowhere. And it's always there, isn't it, if you want it. Plus, handy for washing pots and all like that, you got constant hot water, then, you know what I mean? Instead of having to boil the kettle up every time. You should always fill that up, that holds three litres, that does, of water. You always get that boiled up and you can always put kettle on as well if you want to after. If you want any more water than that, just for a brew or a quick brew or whatever you want to do with it. I love it up here. I absolutely love it up here. Like I said to you in the other video uh, from the man van, I've just got to get out this week. Well, today's the only day I can get, I think, so I'm stopping out tonight. Uh, then I should be back home tomorrow, dinner time ish, something like that. I've got uh, some ration packs, some Orifo chicken tikas, some rice, uh, I've got some sausages, I've got some burgers, and I've got a uh, gammon. <laughs> Obviously, I shan't be eating all that. The wife said to me, don't forget to call at Corp and get dogs some sausages for the tea. Bloody hell, fire. So I've had to go get them some sausages for the tea. So, looking forward to it. 
of an item. I've got another bit of stuff to show you later on. I never thought about these. I got some. Uh... Right, I'm going to show you now. As you know, I do a bit of shooting, a bit of pigeon shooting and that. <coughs> and then we have a hide. We build an hide uh, to get in pigeon shooting. And I forgot all about these. So these, here look, who's here? Look. Oh, Frankie boy's in his cage for the moment. Got these. And they've got a kick plate on bottom. So all you do is just push it in with your foot and then the extend up to whatever you want so I'll put them on there and I can lower them down, higher them up, do whatever I like with them I'll set up for tonight awesome I think they, they weren't cheap, I think they were about a 40 quid for a set of four like but You've got kick plate on so you can kick them into the ground no matter how hard it is. Well, into a, to a certain degree you can. So. Right guys, I'll fetch you back later on. Whatever you do guys, don't have none of them. Pork and apple burgers are rubbish. Same as that gammon, it's horrible. Not really. Right. Some more pouches. Awesome job. You know, about a five or something like that, six quid or something. So I use up here now. I've been using the, uh, the birthday present, what uh, Ant bought me in uh, Barking Badger. It's still cooked, it looks like. Brilliant. What do you reckon then guys? Any good? Cracking bit of kit. Cracking bit of kit. Coming to its own at winter time that. You imagine that under your tarp at night in winter with minus eight or whatever. That could be brilliant that. Just shut that door up a little bit. That'll be bang on. The second one might have to be awesome. Looking forward to winter this year. Well, ish. I prefer summer time, but I don't like winter. Winter, you don't get no bugs and with these spiders. It's full of spiders at the moment up here. 
no mozzies I don't like that or wasps I don't like that which ain't a bad thing got like that and carve out on Sunday 50p and it's a proper what like it fits on there a treat just, it's just slightly a little bit too big but it fits you know, it works perfect on it spot on Right guys, we'll fetch you back because Frank has been a pain. Frank, come on, this way. Good lad. I think my wife's glad to get shut of me, I think. Not they look rubbish then. This barking badger when you need him, then I have to do my own bloody cooking. You can't be off with this now. This is no good. Mash my own cup of tea, coffee. Rubbish. Spot on. Brilliant that. I know it's expensive that is, but it's absolutely brilliant. Well worth money. Brilliant bit of kit. Constant hot water. Old Marty Cuff can fill his pink water bottle now when he comes up. <laughs> Good old matter. We're hoping to get out soon and uh, all lads together again. Uh, ASAP for me, like. You can't come quick enough. Uh, definitely be going out in October, all of us. Uh, uh, and I know for a certain November, when Joe's got a week off, Stoky Joe, uh, we're going to have uh, whatever, three or four nights then. Uh, I don't think Mark can make it. For a, for a bit like he, I think he's working, he's just come back from Lanzagrotte, so he's, he's got to work. So, I'm out on where I'm working Wednesday and Friday this week, but that's enough for me. Right guys, I'm going to have these burgers. Hey up guys, just had a, all my dinner. And everything now, uh, dogs are going to settle down a bit now. Nice, uh, a nice chill out time now, guys. Just do a little bit of carving. Just try something different, different shape. Uh, to, this is out in pear wood. Uh, we've just pruned a bit of this pear tree down at home. So I thought I've got a good place for that. So I thought, well, I'm not taking no radio or, or book or all like that today up here. So I thought I'll just take a little bit of that pear wood up and just sit and mess about and make wood shaving. <laughs> More than hope, but it'll be all right. It'll take shape in a bit. So, uh, How Brybo's just phoned me up, he's gone on his holiday. Yeah. He's gone in a yurt uh, for four days, I think he's gone. He's taking his video, camera doing the video. So that should be interesting, I don't mind that myself. Sounds a cracking deal, like all, all your firewoods included and everything like so. Sounds like a good deal to me, that. These are good guys. This is that Mora, this one. I've got this one. And then I've got... A, uh, I'll take it off. We've all seen him before. Crook knife. But uh, he sells some good knives. Ray Isles, so I said, got that... Uh, that code for that discount code for seven percent off. He has all these, all, all handmade, all handmade. I always wear a glove to be quite. These are Kevlar, Kevlar gloves. Uh, for the simple reason is I'm on blood thinners, so if I cut myself, I don't stop bloody bleeding. So that's the reason why I wear one of them. But, uh, I've just got stove just ticking over now. 
Let's get all this while I'm sat down. No, I can't, I can't be asked to get up here, so... Got everything rigged tight, set up, so... Just ticking over nice now. Just put a... Oh, well, a bit of an oak, oak log on it now, so... Oh, Miss Stokey Joe. He said, God, it sounds windy where you are. I said, it's not windy. Oh, I said, it's bloody aeroplanes going across. Get them tornadoes, eh, not tornadoes, um, Euro fighters are going across all the time, live near airbase like, so. This pear wood carves lovely. Make some great shavings for the fire. <laughs> It'll take shape eventually. If it don't, it'll be light it fire it morning, mate. Bobby's laid out and Frankie's laid out. Just show you. I'm better off taking it off this actually. That's it, fire just you're just ticking over that. Just one log in it. Send some uh, bit of oak and ash. Uh, love the job. That water's uh, up to the top with water, three litres of water in that, so that'll last me while tomorrow for me brews. Yeah, I shall run out. So. nice to come up and have a total chill. Really enjoying it. As I always do. Keep giving it an old strop. Keep that edge up. Makes such a difference. Very wet this pair wood. I've just uh, so I only cut it down, uh, pruned it down uh, two days ago, I think it were. It's been stuck outside like so. Just a different style, just somewhat different to do, that's all. 
a different style of, of a, uh, a spoon or whatever if you can call it a spoon tell you what, it's, look at that, I took bark off that it soon goes black it's just like pears and it smells it smells of pears you know what I mean, obviously it's being pear wood like we do smell of pears, right strong really strong smell of pears I don't know whether that'll stop on or not. It'd be handy if it stopped on, wouldn't it? Like that. Right, guys, I'm not going to bore you no more. I'll, uh, I'll get off and I'll fetch you back later on. Just listen to this, guys. Nothing. Peace and quiet. Odd car going past. The road's about 200 yards away, so a little track, well, off road thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Put other side up now on this gazebo. Like play school, remember that? Play school when I were a kid. <laughs> Through the square window today. Really enjoying this, really enjoying this, brilliant. It's nice to be able to come out and do note. Lovely. Just chop a little bit of wood up, a bit of stropping and a bit of carving. Can't beat it. Absolutely brilliant. Just smashed myself another cuppa. That water eater. Cracking bit of kit, not cheap, but a cracking bit of kit. It's a great accessory to, to that stove. I would definitely recommend it. Anyhow, I would recommend it. It's worth saving your pennies for, or dollars for. Wonder if Bry's got the or not. His uh, form up here got lost, like I think I said. Sat nav took him to a big estate and he couldn't find whereabouts it were. So you're going to have to go to the pub, I think, and find out whereabouts his place is. <laughs> so. Barky baggers back home now. He got home at 3 o'clock last night. It were 29 degrees when he left uh, Lanza Grotte. Now he's got back here, it were 8 last night at Manchester. But today I think it were about 20, about 20 degrees today, 22 degrees, something like that. It's nice and lovely and warm. I've still got my t-shirt on. It's not mine, I'm sat near fire, so that could help it. Total chill. I think it's uh, the first or second week in November when everybody can make it. But uh, uh, I would have thought I shall be well out before then. Like that's like five, that's six weeks away. I shan't be. Uh, I shall have had another two trips for that. At least. Just nice to come out. Just listen to birds. Owls have been out already and it's four o'clock afternoon.
just letting this fire tick over now. Just one bit of oat log on it, just sticking it over. And that water just keeps nice. Just bubbles slow, really slowly, boiling all the time, but nice and slow, simmer. Brilliant bit of kit. Great, great happy with it. I'm surprised actually, I didn't think I would be. But I'm really, really happy with it. So it was all messing about, take kettle off, put kettle on, take it off, put it back on. Fill it up and away you go, like three litres of water. Wash up with it, whatever you want to do with it. Oh, bros. Oh, yeah. It's a tool with me, it makes me tired doing that. Both dogs are laid out. bring you back later on. Uh, don't know what's for tea yet, I don't know. I've got to cook them some uh, sausages. Uh, I've got some, uh, oh dear, gammons, beans, fried potatoes and fried onions in a pour and store bag. I might have that for my tea. Uh, and cook them a couple of sausages up. Then I have other sausages in the morning for my breakfast. I'm not a rush to get home tomorrow. I get home for dinner time, one o'clock ish, something like that. Fine. Until it's autumn now, guys, or fall for brothers in America. It's just starting to, leaves are starting to drop off now. It's still warm, very warm. Right guys, I'll fetch you back later on. Let's fetch you back guys. I've just, uh, I've no sandpaper up here, but that's just a different creation for a spoon. <laughs> and it weren't a mistake. <laughs> just a different creation. I've no sandpaper or what, so I've got to do it's only rough. There's some different creation. It's only rough at the moment, I've got to finish it all off yet, but... <laughs> Somewhat different, isn't it? And that, uh, spoon, you can see through it near enough now, so I've got it at about spot on. Just wants all uh, sandpaper in down now. That's it, just something to play with. Different spoon, different creation. So all right, look, you can get it like that, look. And that bit there. Different creation. Pear wood. It's all right, it's not bad pear wood. That'll do for me for that until uh, I get home and get some uh, sandpaper. I forgot to fetch some. He's just phoned up, uh, Bribo, uh, not Bribo, Mark, I mean, he's just text, uh, uh, he's all alright, he says, are you chilling? So I says, yes, I certainly am, and I'm enjoying it, it's lovely. I'm going to cook some uh, sausages for these in a bit, that's for their tea. Now I'm going to have uh, beans and gammon an egg and that so right I'm gonna have another brew well we're at it why not Look at this, no messing about. Look at that, it's the terrier's testicles, that. Hi, Bob. 
the terriers do they have that spot on hope to make your life easier Help to make your life easy. Oh, it's bubbling. She's bubbling. Look at that. Awesome, that, isn't it? That is awesome. Absolutely love it. Chuck another one on the bar there. Oops. Maybe not. Maybe not yet, will we? Yeah, I'd keep it ticking over. <sighs> Can't be bad, can it? Frankie bog off. Dogs are pain. Look at this uh, knife of strop what Andy gave me. I tell you, I did that video the other day on this uh, auto saw. Oh, it's cracking stuff. Oh, that makes a right shine on it. Brilliant stuff it is. Quite chuffy me strot what I made. That's all right. That works well. Tell temperatures dropping, guys, because Bobby's laid that side at fire now. Well, not laid that side. It is stuff is a bit near enough in the oven. Crackers. Sausages for dog's tea. The only reason I'm getting them sausages for the tea is I forgot their tea. That's the reason why. They usually have the tea, some wet food, and then some dry biscuits like, but I forgot both, so they're going to have to have uh, sausages. To my dismay, they're having sausages. I don't want to give them sausages because I wanted to eat them. <laughs> but there you go. Right, I'm waffling. Uh, I will fetch you back later on, probably. If it's up to report. So we'll catch you later on, guys. Bye for now. Hi, guys. Fetch you back. Just for the, in the five minutes. I want to lamp going. I had my tea. Dogs have had the tea. Just put another piece of oak on fire. And we can hear it, water's boiling all the time, it's constantly boiling, brilliant. And we're not being pressurised out, it don't, uh, don't seem to go down. It just simmers. Spot on. Frank is on guard. So is Bobby, as per usual. Just having a pipe and a total chill. Plenty of owls out tonight, loads of owls. Frankie's seat bugs on floor, he's chasing bugs on floor. Look. Frank, Frankie, what are you doing? Come on, here look. Deaf dog. Right guys, that'll be it for tonight. I'll, uh, I'll fetch you back in the morning. 
piping out. Right guys, that's it. That's another one of we. That's me other night to done. So I'm gonna go home now. Uh, and then I've got to go out tomorrow, so I enjoyed it, nice chill out time. That uh, frontier store spot on. So right guys, that's it. Uh, we should be all out again, I think, in October, uh, uh, all of us together again, uh, and also in November, and then we're having a Christmas do in December, so that should be a laugh. Right guys, we'll see you all later, thanks for all my new subscribers, thanks for your comments, thanks for watching, bye for now.